The Territory has some of the most sought after tourism experiences in the country and there'll soon be another one to add to the list that's not like any other. A boutique resort is in the early stages of construction. When complete, visitors will sleep in luxury rooms surrounded by a moat filled with crocodiles in the shape of Australia. No, you're not seeing things. That is Australia, or at least a clearing shaped like it. About an hour and a half's drive from Darwin is Sweets Lagoon, the base for Outback float plane adventures. The brainchild of Outback Wrangler Matt Wright and his business partner, it offers the ultimate territory tour by land, air and water. And now they're embarking on something even more unique to complement the operation. Designing something different for the Territory, a map of Australia, crocodiles in the, uh, in the moat around it and uh, a luxury resort. The fun airboats, choppers, float planes, buggies, that's down there yeah. and then come back here for a cold beer. Yes, you heard it right. A resort surrounded by a moat filled with crocodiles. In the works for a couple of years now, it's set to feature a restaurant and bar, sitting on top of Uluru, no less. There'll also be 12 units built on stilts, branching out from the middle, connected via boardwalks. Crocs all the way around. Yeah. They'll be free to move everywhere inside the, uh, the island, inside Australia. And we'll also put all native animals in here, you know, your little bandicoots, any... any uh, animals that are getting rehabbed and that we're taking from the wildlife yeah. centres, we put them back in here and they can hop around and awesome. be happy in, in Australia again. And not to worry, the crocodiles will be fenced in, so both humans and animals will be separated for safety. One of the really cool features that's been proposed for the units is that the bathrooms could have transparent walls. So from the comfort of your bathtub, you could be looking out at the moat filled with crocodiles. So it doesn't get much more territory than that. Still in the very early stages, the government sees the potential in the project to be a major drawcard for tourists, providing a $100,000 grant to get site preparation underway. It's about uh, showcasing uh, all that the Northern Territory has to offer, not just about uh, the city tourism opportunities but also the environmental landscape opportunities that the Northern Territory is known throughout Australia for and throughout the world for. As to what the resort will look like, Matt is still to hash out the specific details, but he's calling for input from Territorians. And for those of you who think something is missing from the map of Australia, Matt has big plans and it involves his pet croc, Tripod. For all those concerned about Tassie, we haven't forgotten about Tassie. That is Tripod's new pen, so we're going to give Tripod the whole of Tassie. He's going to look after that and probably make it into the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Building is set to start in the dry season. Kathleen Bruin, Nine News.